What's going on everyone? CJ back here with a brand new episode of the Madden 24 St. Louis Sentinels franchise. That is right, welcome back. This is a big week here in Sentinels franchise because even though we have had a dominant season so far, we take on the Eagles today and they are six and five. So a loss to them today would put them within one game of us in the division and taking a look at the playoff picture here, the Eagles are currently the seventh seed. We are the number one seed. So in order to feel comfortable about where we're at with the season, we got to take care of business today against the Philadelphia Eagles, who historically we have played very well against. We have a quarterback duel, though, today against Jalen Hurts and J.J. Ford. So marquee matchup this week between Jalen Hurts and J.J. Ford. Who are you expecting to step up? I mean, why would I? Why would it not be Ford, right? It's been Ford all season, potential MVP candidate. These battles are always fun and bring out the best in the players. Each guy wants to win, outdo the other. So I'm expecting JJ Ford to have a good game. And look at that. The MVP's got to go ahead and take his belt today. Beat the Eagles and throw for four plus touchdowns with Ford. Should not be a problem, hopefully, because he's done that in a lot of games this season. The Eagles do have a good offense, though. They are fifth in the league in points per game and seventh uh, in passing yards per game. They do not turn the ball over a lot either. And that's right. They got Austin Eckler. I always forget about that, that he's on this team. I think that we are going to start off defending the short pass, uh, you know, make Jalen Hurts. He tends to be kind of paranoid back there in the pocket. So he may be looking for some check downs. And then defensively, aside from stopping the run, they're not good at all. We got to make sure that Ford gets four plus passing touchdowns. Go ahead and do throw it deep for the game plan focus. And the story right now is Dwight Jackson kind of starting to emerge as our true halfback number one. I've also been messing around with this rushing attack close quarters. The regular rushing attack has just gotten way too easy. So I've been doing this one here to kind of spice it up a little bit. But the question is, oh, nice juke there from Jackson. He's star dev. We just revealed that the other week. And uh, question is, how much of a role can Dwight truly play? Come on, dive over that. Thank you. I like his game. Dudley is going to be our running back number one, obviously. No plans on changing that, but Dwight could improve to be uh, our true number two backup behind Dudley for the long term. Got a big upgrade here for Tony Hoover. Um, can I upgrade everything? Like, he's Tony's been just so non-existent, and I don't understand it. He needs an upgrade to press. Definitely needs to upgrade to press, which I believe, yeah, that'll be in the man-to-man. -man. Maybe that's why he gets cooked so much. I feel like once per game, we're calling a receiver's name uh, that beat Tony Hoover. Does get too depressed, which is nice. He will go up to an 81 overall star dev, hoping that his sophomore season is much better than his rookie campaign. And uh, I also posted, guys, Sentinel Sportsbook a few days before this episode dropped. Hopefully you guys played it. And uh, if not, I had a couple people asking me, how do you play Sentinel Sportsbook? It is very, very simple. Let me show you guys what this is all about, just in case you don't know. And then we will get into the game. You may have already seen in a recent community post, but I am rolling out an exciting weekly contest on this channel called Sentinel Sportsbook. No YouTube, this is not online gambling, so please don't cancel me. Before each episode, I will set spreads, overs and unders, and very various player props, so be sure to subscribe so you can look out for my community posts. All you have to do is comment on the post with one selection that you think will happen in the game that's coming up. Only one selection per person, please. Once the episode drops, I'll put anyone who picked correctly in a wheel spin, and the winner will win a $25 Amazon gift card or any gift card that you might want that I can purchase on Amazon and send to you via email. I'm doing this because I want to make this content as engaging for you guys as possible, so I will do this before each and every episode as long as I am able to. So so please make sure you comment your pick in the community post. Make sure you're subscribed so you can see the community post. And let's start giving out some prizes here in this Sentinels sports book. Eight and three Sentinels, six and five Eagles, inner division rival. We are going to be at home, but remember, no Terry McLaurin. He's out for two more weeks with a torn labrum. And our left tackle, Jarius Powell, dislocated knee, the rookie out of USC. He is not back either. 
But this is a big one, guys. And if you are fired up for some more St. Louis Sentinels content, please like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you love Madden or football content. At 1,000 subscribers, I will do an NFL jersey giveaway. Over 800 now, so please, please help me get there. But without further ado, let's get on down to Sentinels Field and get ready for the game. Sentinels going to get the ball first from the Kaimi Fairbairn kickoff. And remember, our goal today is four-plus passing touchdowns with potential MVP, or a definitely MVP candidate, but potential MVP of the league, J.J. Ford. He's in a neck-and-neck -neck race with Patrick Mahomes and Lamar Jackson. Did throw a pick last week, so got to make sure we don't do that today. But nearing 4,000 passing yards with still a lot of season left to go. That does bode very well for J.J. Ford, but he is going to be without his favorite Target today, the St. Louis Savior, McLaurin here. So let's see what type of impact of that one will play. Let's go ahead and give it to Bart Burns. And the pressure was there uh, pretty instantly from Devin White. Eagles team does have a good defense, of course. Lots of Georgia Bulldogs on this roster. We know that. And some really good uh, auto-generated draft guys that the Eagles have picked up along the lines as well. So let's go ahead and put John Dotson on a drag route here. Um, we might actually need him. There's John coming up clutch. Kind of ran backwards on that one, but gain of seven, pretty good. Is going to face third and three. Though. Curtis Samuel is our man on the left now with Terry being absent, but we're going to stay through the aerial attack, and let's just check it down to Logan Thomas. Fourth and inches. Wow. Cogs are spinning. The Cogs are indeed spinning. I mean, I'm probably not going to go for this, but I would like to at least just see what the good old QB sneak formation looks like. Um, oh my God. I mean, tell me how I don't go for that. There's no, it's free. It's, it's free. It's a free pickup. There was nobody there in the middle. Had they had guys pressed up there on that line, I would have punted it. But I, there's no way I'm going to turn that down. Dwight Jackson, rookie out of UAB, who we just talked about pregame, is in the backfield. And, okay, well, turning uh, nothing into something there, picking up five. Thought maybe he was going to be shut down for only like a gain of one or so. But Dwight did end up making a pretty, pretty solid pickup. Haven't given the ball to Dudley yet, but I'm sure that Dudley will get his catches in this game as he always does second and five out of shotgun with trips there's george williams i'm sorry bart burns sorry bart didn't mean to disrespect you a couple episodes ago bart did have a great game then he got injured uh did come back and probably gonna be one of my prime targets here today with the absence of terry mclaurin balls on the 42 into philly territory now we're gonna see dudley saxton would love some blocks because our offensive line Really hasn't been helping out Dudley's cause. He he was close to 100 yards last week. Did have a pretty good game. But sometimes just not sure whether to blame the line or blame Dudley or just blame the Madden gods or maybe even all the above. But second and three here, we are going to come out single back, but it's going to be a play action boot. And we have John Dotson making another catch. Oh, look at him bounce off. Should have been stopped about a half a yard or a yard or so short of the line to gain and he was actually able to pick that one up so very impressive work there from john he's been a solid really fourth option i would say you know we got uh of course terry samuel bart burns and then i would say it's probably jahan now te attack you guys already know what my pro oh, it's gonna be a sack sack yep devin white on the sack he came screaming in there virtually untouched for a big loss of seven. I don't have to get this all back here, so let's test the right side on the screen to Saxton. Should have, well, he uh, had for basically no blockers, but that one was all Saxton. A couple of juke moves there, some fancy footwork, able to pick up five. And third and 12 here, um, coaches calling a play that I am very fond of, which is gun verticals. And you know what? Seeing as how we are already in field goal range here wouldn't be the worst thing in the world to settle for a field goal um if i could pass lead ah uh, that was a good a good read by me didn't necessarily lead Jahan dots in the correct way he was open he was getting open on that so 
a Joey Sly field goal to start here. And wind is blowing to the right, too. So I actually have to be kind of careful on these kicks. Don't want to miss any and leave any points on the board. That's a good one from Sly. And the Sentinels do strike first. Nick Sirianni giving uh, Jalen Hurts some words of wisdom here. Let's check on the stats of Jalen. Can't remember. I don't know if I saw him really in the MVP race too much. I mean, his touchdown interception ratio is good. But the yards really aren't there. And you could definitely uh, stand to have some more tosses into the end zone. But uh, there's two types of Jalen Hurts in this game. The Jalen Hurts that plays great and the Jalen Hurts that plays paranoid. Let's see what type we will have today. And also, of course, Austin Eckler is there as well. Way to uh, shut him down there from Glenn May to only limit him to a gain of four. We got man coverage out here, and that's right. They also have Dallas Goddard as well, who I feel like is always a killer in this one. He's airing it out for Eckler, and wow. Tony Hoover or Jartavius Martin did not get burned on that one, but I feel like Eckler didn't even really put his hands up. May have had a play on the ball there. Not 100% sure, but I'm also not going to argue with that either. So um, here on third and six, got to watch the check down from Eckler. Nope, it's A.J. Brown. A.J. Brown is going to be true. And let's take a look at the Eagles offense here. Of course, Jalen Hurts at QB and Austin Eckler. Also coupled uh, Tevin Ford, good auto-generated guy behind him. And then receivers, they have A.J. Brown. No Devonta Smith. He is hurt. So they have Alex Duvall, a two-year man out of Texas A&M. First round pick in 2024. They got Devin Duvernay and a couple other auto-generated guys back there as well. Dallas Goddard and Grant Calcaterra. Offensive line, always good in Philly here. Jordan Mailata, Landon Dickerson, left guard. Will Fitzsimmons, the two-year man, is the center. Cam Jurgens, and then Chance Rice, who is also... A former number number one, or I'm sorry, first round pick himself. So even though no Travis Kelsey, no one like that, still a good offensive line. Eagles always, always have a good offensive line here in Madden. Let's go ahead and press up the boys here. Going to send Justin Hayward on a blitz. It's actually a design keeper from Hertz. Five yards, not the worst thing in the world. Going to go ahead and show blitz. It will not be a blitz, though. Going to use her up on Tony Knight here. And Hurts going to find Goddard. Forgot he's a superstar X-Factor in this game. Feel like one of the games we played Philly in the past, Dallas Goddard just, like, lit us up. But so many players light us up. Uh, gets honestly hard to keep track of. We are going to send a little bit of pressure here with Jamin Davis. Design keeper again. But uh, Jonathan Allen, who is fresh off an of injury, there to meet Jalen Hurts in the backfield. We'll go pressure again. Why not? Quan Martin is going to have to watch Austin Eckler here. And, oh, we should have had Hurts. How did we not? I thought for sure we were going to stop Hurts for a nice sack in the backfield. Somehow, we did not. Who was there? I mean, Chase, Chase Young, what are you doing, my guy? Guess he fell you know, for the fake thing. I mean, oh my God, you got to see that ball is still in Hurts' hands. Come on now. Play zone again here for a little bit. Hurts has three wide receivers spread out to his right. So some pressure would be nice. I feel like Hurts is kind of being that paranoid version of himself that we see. And we'll see if we, uh, if Nick Sirianni will bring in Kaimi Fairbairn. It would be a long one. He is. So this is going to be uh, about a 57 yarder. I want to say something like that. Fairbairn is a good kicker. He could definitely drill this, and that one is going to be right through the uprights. Eagles respond with a field goal of their own. A couple of field goals to start this one out. Let's uh, see what the outside is looking like for Dudley. Dudley breaks a tackle. Still going, too. All right. Dudley's like, look, y'all don't want to block for me. I'm going to make some things happen myself because Coach C.J. Smalls has been talking about Dwight Jackson so much. I'm frankly sick of hearing it. He's out there looking like he is playing for that RB number one role. Second and four, we're going to come out in the eye. Going to be a play fake. That pressure is there, man. Hassan Reddick not liking what the defense is sending at me so far. And third and 14. What do you do here? Well, I'll tell you what you do. You go gun verticals. And that is exactly what the coach wants me to do. We are going to have Dudley Streak. I want some of those linebackers to kind of take him a little bit, if possible. Curtis, oh, man, that was a great pass. 
It was a great pass from Ford. Put it only in a position where Samuel could get it. He just didn't turn around, and it bounced off of his back. So um, offense, a bit of a struggle here. You know, got to still try to get those four-plus touchdowns from Ford, of course. But right now, the big thing is let's just win. Can we force a fumble? We will not. And Philly going to start this thing from their own 35. Oh. And wide open is the uh, former first-round pick, Alex Duvall, back in 2024. He just dropped it. Cannot be dropping those if you are a receiver on Philly. It's a good way to get you benched, maybe. I don't know. I'd bench him if it was me. Of course, it's not my decision. Hurts. What's he going to do? Emmanuel Forbes play on the ball. He got mossed by A.J. Brown. Wow. Okay, maybe should have went for the SWAT. A.J. Brown is a big target. I went for the pick. Got greedy, went for those cookies. And Hurts and the Eagles, that was a great play by them. Gotta look to respond now. 23 passing yards from a J.J. Ford-led football team. Yeah, I'm not cool with that. I don't like it, and I refuse to accept it. So we are going to have to do something to change that right, right now. And also still try to get those four TDs. So let's come out. As pressure's been here a lot for these uh, boot rollouts. Hasn't really been working too good. And I don't like it at all. So I'm going to throw it away. We got the linebackers and the defensive ends. Uh, some of those Georgia Bulldogs that I mentioned pregame. They are getting back to Ford in a hurry. So may look to change my focus after halftime to blitz counter. Now Curtis Samuel up the seam. Could be a shot. Um, Nope. Let's just give it to Dotson. Way to hang on. And Jahan still going. So with the absence of Terry, it hasn't really been Samuel so much or necessarily Bart Burns. I feel like it's been Jahan Dotson most of this game. We've been calling his name a lot. And it certainly has been working. Now, here uh, on the 27, deep into Philly territory. Going to be coming out of the shotgun, but it's going to be a play fix, so I need some protection. Could be Jahan again. Nope, this time it's George Williams. George died for it. There we go. Nice to call George's name the big 6'9 target that I talk about all the time. Two-year man now out of Florida. Or no, I'm sorry, Florida? No, Wisconsin, I want to say. Yeah, Wisconsin. He's a badger. Dudley Saxon is Florida. But George is able to pick up a big 27-yard bomb, and we're able to keep this thing uh, close and competitive, which you always like to do, of course, especially when you're playing a high-powered team, potentially high-powered team like Philly. A.J. Brown was the man last drive. Two catches, two targets, two catches, 89 yards. I mean, pretty much did it all, and I guess I'm going to have to use her somebody probably on his side maybe at all times. Drop a defensive end like Fowler back there just to have an extra man in coverage because I do not want this to become the A.J. Brown show nor the Dallas Goddard show. But Jalen Hurts, four for nine for 109 yards. Wow. Would really like to see that uh, paranoid Jalen Hurts back there getting sacked. So let's see how he does with some pressure here. Hayward back. There we go. It's Hoover. They're not going to give him credit for a sack, though, unfortunately, because... It was a design run, but still, nonetheless, good to call Tony Hoover's name on a big, big defensive play. All right, this is big, guys. This is really, really big. I don't like the fact that A.J. Brown is so uncovered. It's an RPO to Brown. Nice call. Nice call. I was fully expecting a route to go downfield. RPO was probably the last thing I expected. So good call from Nick Sirianni and the Eagles. With the linebackers here in the A-gaps, let's just see if we can get instant pressure. Definitely got a user up on Cam Curl here in case it's a run to Eckler. Good defense by Quan Martin. We also had Cam Curl there in the vicinity as well. All right, Sense, come on. This is your chance here. Just need some good defense, please. They ask you how you are. You just have to say that you're fine. And you're not really fine. Please, that's not my idea of good defense. I don't know what you guys think good defense are. Is? Are? Is? Whatever. But Dallas Goddard gashing us up the middle is not my idea of a good time at all. And so far, this is a very different Eagles team than what we are used to. We usually play them pretty well. Oh, come on, pick. That should have been uh, Benjamin St. Juice, who is 24. 
already lost. I can't even think of who that is. That's Hoover. That's right. We got to have Chase Young play up on Goddard here because, nope, he's, oh, it missed him. I whipped the tackle. Oh, man, I had a beeline on Hurts with Chase Young, and I just completely whiffed it. That's why you don't want to be usering up on defensive ends, holding that turbo button. I mean, right there. Right there. I just took a poor angle on it. Philly probably going to score a touchdown again. Unless we have some good, solid defense. Nope. Okay. This Eagles team came to play. And you know what? I like it. I do like it. Uh, some of these games as of late, I feel like have not been the most competitive. You know, the Vikings game comes to mind for sure. Uh, I feel like we... Didn't we dispose of the Chiefs? I can't remember. Look, I got two series going on right now. SFL and this one playing so many different teams. I do know that the Vikings game was a route. And I feel like there was another game that we played recently that was a route too. Maybe the Cowboys. I don't know. But what I'm saying is I'm happy that Philly has come to play. Keeping me on edge and making for some exciting football content. All right. Now, in Madden, when they put... Two defenders in the A-gaps like that, the linebackers, they usually drop back in coverage. So a draw play, well, a draw play was the right call, but Quentin Booth, the second round pick back in 2024, was there to meet us for a big loss of three. And what do we do here? That is the question. I don't really like uh, any of these calls that coaches really calling for me. guess we'll go TE drive. Might look, uh, ah. I was hoping Samuel might be getting pressed. We're going to put him on a curl. Matter of fact, see if uh, since that defender's playing off a little bit. And Bart Burns. Oh, he dropped it. Dag nabbit, Bart. I needed you on that one. It was a catchable ball, too. Was definitely a catchable ball. See if we can maybe pin the Eagles back deep. I feel like I never do. Tress way. Uh, yeah, I should have put some more power on that one, I suppose. But... It is inside the 20 ever so barely. I feel like man ain't working. I feel like zone ain't working. I feel like nothing is working. So I need something to work, and I need it to work now. Heck of a catch there by Goddard, albeit only for a gain of five. Kind of assuming this is going to be a run, but maybe I shouldn't do that. Yeah, I definitely shouldn't do that. It's just A.J. Brown. Emmanuel Forbes, who got cooked by him couple drives ago was there to make the tackle and uh yeah i just feel like uh the eagles kind of got us figured out here guys and i am not a huge fan of it maybe if i could get somebody in the backfield oh how does dallas goddard break that tackle come on man and then jonathan allen gets hurt he just came back from injury and with the defense that already can't do anything definitely don't want to lose that guy and i guess we'll go man here uh also aj brown has his X Factor activated, which is never a good thing to see. It's Eckler out of the backfield. Tony Knight just got a big face palm. He's trying to punch that ball out. And yeah, I mean, this is a Philly team like, I mean, even I feel like going back to season one, when we still had Sam Howe, you know, pre JJ Ford era, I don't think I've ever really seen Philly play this good. Uh, they're playing great. That's a nice catch there by the auto-generated guy. Or no, I'm sorry, Devin Duvernay. My apologies. He's not auto-generated. Come on, man. I mean, Hurts empty, so I guess pressure? That hasn't been working too well. And that's a drop there by Duvernay. Wow. This is our chance here, boys. We got to hold them to a field goal. Because if we do, somehow, if we do, we'll have time to score. And that's going to be very important as, again, Philly does get the ball back after halftime. And let's just please make that happen. Errant pass from Hertz. He was looking for A.J. Brown. Emmanuel Forbes was there. Not sure it was really, uh, you know, credit. It's not really due to Forbes. That was just kind of a bad pass from Hertz. But I will certainly take it. And with a minute 20, all three timeouts, got to try our best to march down here and put up six i think we start out with the with a little draw here i'm okay with that i mean and look see it's the defenders in the in the a gaps again we're gonna actually put uh whatever i'll, I'll id up you know what changing it I'm changing my mind i'm changing my mind here this is going to be george williams on the streak uh feel really good about that george please catch it thank you 
Took way too long for that to develop. Also, why is he holding it like a freaking loaf of bread? George, you gotta protect that pigskin, brother. Gotta go quickly here. Samuel's getting pressed, so let me see that safety come down. Oh, he did. He did. Come on. This is what Terry does. Samuel, he's gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna go ahead and call a timeout here. Almost wanted to go hurry up. But Samuel following in his brother Terry's footsteps. Terry cooks on press all the time. Samuel just cooked on press at that time as well. So again, with two timeouts here, 40 seconds. Don't really want to score too quick, but want to score. So screen to Dudley. We got instant pressure. Dudley hangs on. Don't even got to get out of bounds necessarily. Dudley is able to catch that. Do we call a timeout here? think that we do gonna streak Samuel again don't need like a home run shot or anything like that but still gonna be probably well the safety jumped again and there's Samuel telling you man I don't know why these safeties do that they like play down like they're gonna stop the run and if you're pressing I mean look Samuel's not as good of a receiver as Terry but this man is still he's still over a thousand yards so you gotta Put some respect on his name, most definitely, and that was huge, man. As long as the Eagles don't do something crazy in these last 26 seconds, that was absolutely huge to go into the locker room only down three. And the Eagles did not score, luckily. So 2017, uh, we're pretty much even in passing yards. Rushing yards, we started out really good, and then I feel like we just kind of went away from it, but the way that Philly was scoring, I just kind of felt like it had to be a... Uh, aerial attack here now i am gonna switch up to blitz counter because we did have a couple sacks and then jalen hurts really did the most damage with the deep passes specifically that one to aj brown so we'll go ahead and make defend the deep pass our focus of there and uh hopefully we could just come out of the locker room energized playing some good defense this is still a very tight game so definitely tons of opportunities to come back in this one make sure it's not a good kick return which it will not be i'm gonna actually cancel blitz on jamin davis blitz just hasn't been working so far in this one so really want to have an extra defender manual forbes starting to tighten up on aj brown after he was uh pretty much <laughs> embarrassed there in that uh what was that the first quarter that he scored and i feel like yeah since blitz isn't working Let's just kind of have one of these blitzers just kind of spy the middle of the field. And he was right there. Justin Hayward was. But wasn't able to make the tackle on Eckler. Good pickup, moving the ball to the 38. All right, we'll see what Hurts does here. Coming out of shotgun again. It's going to be the quarterback keeper. Would love to see a fumble from Hurts, but he doesn't really fumble too much in Madden. I feel like there's certain quarterbacks like, you know, him, Lamar Jackson, obviously, Mahomes, you know, people like that. They don't really tend to fumble the ball that much now this time i will send tony knight on a little bit of pressure and eckler's trying to make things happen and he does tell me and almost kept going as well tell me how we were not able to stop austin eckler in the backfield and is this going to be the austin eckler show coming out of the locker room not sure don't want it to be but looking like that might be the case and there's a sack finally john ridgeway how often do we call his name? Not often, but guess what? We just called it there. Tell you what, we're going to have to watch A.J. Brown for sure. Hurts going to be sacked by Hayward. Now the defense is starting to step up. Calling some of our big playmakers' names, and we got a chance to reclaim our rightful spot in the lead. J.J. Ford needs two more touchdowns to complete his side goal as well. Let's freaking make it happen. Philly's defense didn't show them. We got uh, Quentin Booth here. He was a second round pick back in 2024 on the left side. And of course, Josh Sweat, very good player. We got Jalen Carter and Jordan Davis, the Georgia Bulldog connection. Hassan Reddick already called his name once earlier. Devin White and veteran Deion Jones, former Falcon and Brown. Nolan Smith, another Georgia Bulldog. And then their corners are good, but they're old. Darius Slay, James Bradbury, Keely Ringo, another Georgia Bulldog. Dominique Bulware, the free safety, second round pick out of LSU. Grant Delpit, former Cleveland Brown. So they got a very good defense. And uh, here we got a chance to finally do something positive. Would love Dudley Saxton to kind of figure it out on the ground here. Just kind of take a little bit of the pressure away from Ford. Dudley not really making an impact. Five for 21. 
Not good. Our burn stick route could be an option here as well. Maybe Jahan Dotson. Yeah, let's just give it to Bart. A little safe check down there. I'm fine with it. Third and four, you know, don't always have to be looking for uh, big shots downfield and things of that nature. Sometimes you just go with the safe option. But this is a big one here. Really got to try to pick this one up. George Williams on the drag actually could be my uh, primary read. Little delayed route. He should have it. George playing great in this one. It's about his fourth or fifth catch. Making things happen. Actually, 5 for 79. Dudley again inside zone. Show me some good blockers. They're just not there. And I'll tell you what, though. My evaluation of Dudley in this game is even though the blockers aren't there, which they're not, definitely not, he's doing a good job, you know, pushing the pile forward, fighting for yardage, things like that, which uh, I guess is all we could really ask for. Let's put Dudley on a streak here on second and nine and see who can get open. It's George Williams trying to fall forward. He's not going to be able to. Third and inches. I'm thinking something inside zone to Dudley or maybe just straight single back up the middle. Ah, this might not have been the best call. I don't know. We, we are going to try, but got to watch out for Jalen Carter there. Dudley should have it. And he does. Fresh set of downs now, and we are into Philadelphia territory. Let's bring in Dwight Jackson. Haven't really given him a shot since, I want to say, early in the first. So maybe he can kick this thing out to the outside. We're going to send Samuel in motion. And as long as we have blockers, which we don't always, I am going to have to start probably double teaming Jordan Davis because he is a gosh dang problem out there. We're going to put Samuel on a streak up the middle. And also Bart Burns got a... Watch his route as well. Nope, it's just a Jahan Dotson who's really been, been him in a, I mean, I realize, okay, Samuel has a big touchdown, yes. But I feel like it's been Jahan Dotson and Curtis Samuel, so kind of the backups showing up here. Um, if I can get this play off, and if I can ID up, I'm not going to be able to do it probably. I want to go outside to Dudley, test the edge there. I should have just let it tick down, and I'll tell you what. We just can't get anything going on the ground game, man. It's actually kind of sad. But 2017, no scores in the third quarter. So we are looking at the same score that we were looking at going into the locker room. But the only thing is we are well, well into Philly territory and a really good opportunity to score, preferably a touchdown. Field goal would not make me feel uh, too much more confident. Let's have Dudley Block and maybe Samuel on this out route second touchdown of the day for curtis we reclaim the lead and jj ford only needs one more touchdown to reach his goal of four what a drive by the sentinels putting the pressure on sirianni and these philadelphia eagles this one has been fun i will say that this one has been fun now we reclaim the lead on the scoreboard yes but still a lot of work to do as all the fourth quarter virtually remains, and Philadelphia is just one drive away from keeping this seesaw battle going. Our defense did tighten up coming out of the locker room, which is good, but we got to make sure that we sustain that. And now, of course, the coach is going to have me uh, freaking call prevent defenses all the time. Uh, Jamin Davis, you, sir, are going to spy the middle of the field. Not going to have you block it all. Oh, heck of a catch there by Alice Duvall, the two-year man out of Texas a and I think we go pressure here. I trust it. Maybe I shouldn't. He'll probably give this to Eckler, I would presume. He's not. Oh, another, another nice grab by Duvall. Alex Duvall is starting to come alive here. He was a first-round pick a couple of years ago. Obviously, of course, auto-generated. Not a real player, but still good draft pick uh, for the Eagles, paying off dividends here and this time it's going to be Eckler up the gut he's finding blocks Chase Young had to run to the second level just to get him this isn't uh like the first drive coming out of halftime we're gonna have to tighten things up here or this could be bad news bears for the Sentinels Trovon Wiley see if we can maybe get him in the backfield what well, we did but it's a vicious juke from Eckler but luckily Chase Young was there to drop him for a loss of one third and eleven this is exactly the situation that we want to be in. So we are guessing pass. We are shading over top all the way and just got to, got to, got to play some good defense. I'm dropping 
Justin Hayward back for sure. Hurts looking for targets. He can't find any. Ops for the safe check down to Devin Duvernay. That should bring out Marquise Madden, the punter, and it does. Also, best name in Madden. Marquise Madden, come on now. But that's exactly the type of drive that we needed. And I'll tell you what, if we can find pay dirt here and punch this thing in, that could be ball game. But got to put words into action here. Still a lot of time up on that clock. So I'm definitely running away from Jordan Davis. That is happening because I haven't been able to stop him all game. And just needed somebody to, to block on Grant Delpit. That would have been nice if somebody would have uh, chosen to do that. Because um, nobody did. And it did not result in anything. I did. I just realized, too, I made blitz counter my focus. So these short routes might not hit the way I want them to. But actually, Jahan over the middle. And look at Jahan, man. Making things happen. Fighting forward for a first down. He's quietly our MVP in this one. Thank God Jordan Davis is not on the field. He's been an absolute game wrecker in this one. Can we at least get draw play to work? And I mean the block shed from Jalen Carter is just absurd. Hold a freaking block. Whoever's assignment that is, hold a block. That's all I'm asking. Can we at least get Dudley going on the screen if he can't get it done? Oh God, yeah. pressure's there. Just had to dump that one off, man. Did I make blitz counter my focus? Coming out of halftime, I swear I did. But you wouldn't be able to tell in this one. That much is for sure. And this is uh, a big one here, guys. Uh, Curtis Samuel's getting pressed. I see that instantly. So definitely watching the safety. He's coming down again. Curtis! Why do teams do this? J.J. Ford, challenge completed. A lot of time left on that clock, but man, oh, man. We got basically essentially two number one wide receivers on this team, Terry and Curtis. Curtis is a number two, but at least in this game, maybe not in real life, but at least in this game, he could easily be a number one option, number one target for any of these other teams. And I mean, I'm, I read that press so well, and I don't understand why the safeties, if you're going to press up, unless you got a lockdown corner, they got Slay and Bradbury. Good corners, but they're old. I mean, unless you got somebody like freaking, I can't even think, Antoine Winfield maybe. Not even. I don't know. But anyways, regardless, it's an 11-point game. Ford has his challenge completed. Our defense is playing good. All the pressure on Sirianni and the Eagles. So right now, the Eagles are playing two foes. They're playing two foes. They're playing us, and they're playing good old father time. And Father Time rarely, rarely loses. Not going to say he's undefeated, but he's got a good record. And these little quick checkdowns ain't doing the Eagles any favors whatsoever. Got our dime package in. We are sending a little bit of heat. It's a check down to Eckler. Jamin Davis, nice open field tackle. And I was also usering on him as well. Could have been dangerous from Eckler. He is very shifty, always with the uh, fancy footwork there. But luckily, we were able to contain him. And yeah, man, this clock, like, even if they score here, which I, I wouldn't actually be surprised. If they do, that's not a good start. Wide open is A.J. Brown. But I would not even be surprised if they do score because it's Madden. That happens all the time. But, like, they're using a lot of clock here. And these little quick checkdowns, they're going hurry up tempo now. And uh, I just don't necessarily know the logic, like, I guess just score points and go for the onside kick, sure. But, ooh, thought that could have been Tony Hoover interception there. Would have loved to see it. But now third and four. Got a spy on the field here. Going to use her up on Hayward. It's a big third down. I've, ooh, I, I hit my cut too much. But look who it is, man. No introduction needed. It's James Smith-Williams, our sack leader on the season. He continues to do big things. Okay. Things and that's about the last thing we could have had happen with Devin Duvernay, man. That's yeah, did not did not want that to happen. Had the Eagles in a fourth down situation, they picked up a huge play and they get out of bounds. So still, kind of sweaty palms time. They wouldn't even really have to onside kick it either if they score quick here, because they got all their timeouts and Eckler. Met there by Justin Hayward. Would love to see that two-minute warning get out of here. Don't want to give them an extra timeout, assuming that they uh, do score here and score quickly. Hurts on the rollout. 
Stop there by Hoover, and that will be the two-minute warning. So, yeah, I mean, they do got all their timeouts, so that's good, meaning that if they score here, which, let's be realistic, I'm sure that they will, unless our defense makes a great play. But we would have to pick up a first down. So it's not, not over. I don't necessarily have that warm, fuzzy feeling that I want to have. And, oh, man, I mistimed that. With Hayward, I'm sure they're going to go hurry up. We're sending some heat, though, or at least going to try to. Tony Knight needs you to get in the backfield, brother. Nope. Okay. Game on. One first down, and this is over. We got to make sure that happens. Oh, they're actually, well, yeah, of course, they're going to go for two. Don't want them to get this. Let's see if we can uh, Eifler. No, he's motioning the play. We're going to use her up on Eifler and hopefully get, okay, okay, come on. I was about to lose it. But now, if we, if they do stop us, which God help my soul, I hope they don't. They would need to score a touchdown. So that's good. Field goal would not do them anything, but don't even want to have to worry about that. Let's just score. Not even going to return this with Jahan Dotson. Why risk a fumble? Dudley Saxton, where are you at? Will the real Dudley Saxton please stand up? I need you on this drive, brother. Come on, Dudley. Just do something. That's all I'm asking. I need an extra block out there. My God, man. We're going to have to uh, probably go something screen. Right? I mean, the running, the run is not working. Hasn't been working all game. And I usually would go coach suggestions, but like, I just feel like we gotta go something screen here because we obviously, you know, need the Eagles to use their timeouts, but gotta get some positive yardage. First down here ends it. Come on, Dudley. This has gotta be it, right? No, it's not. And he's hurt. Oh, man. The double whammy as that will stop the clock for Philly. I'm going to go mesh spot. It's been Jahan all game long. Ja or ah, this could be Williams too. Oh, man. Curtis Streak. It's got to be Burns or Williams, right? One of these two. It's George. George picks it up. Game over. That will be game. That was a very, very close. Putting the ball carrier on conservative here. Dudley got injured, so it's going to be uh, Dwight Jackson here for the duration. And, and now watch. He'll probably get some positive. Nope. I mean, nice push to the pile there from Stromberg. And Dudley could be out some time. Two seconds between game clock and play clock, so we do not have to snap this ball. Beautiful clock management. And woo! What a game, man. That was fun. That was exhilarating. Eagles came out dominating, had to claw our way back to the lead. Once we got it, we grew it. Philly made it close, made it interesting, and uh, we were able to sustain for just long enough and come out of here with the big, big W. But the question is, what's up with Dudley Saxon? How long will he be out? Will he be out? And if he's not out, can we find a way to get my man, you know, back to his old form? J.J. Ford, four touchdowns, so he will complete his little challenge and almost 400 yards. Next episode, we will check on his MVP race standings. Jalen Hurts plays good, almost 300, and he also had two touchdowns as well. But look at that, man. A big old stinker from Saxton. Austin Eckler played pretty good, so hats off to him. And uh, lots of receivers stepping up. Dallas Goddard played great. George Williams, almost 100 yards. A.J. Brown over 100 yards. Jahan Dotson may have been our MVP. I don't know. I mean, no. Samuel, three touchdowns. Of course, it's got to be him. Fuck yeah! So we do uh, make sure the Eagles don't creep up closer to us in the division, and we will retain that number one seed. Wasn't the prettiest of games, but at the end of the day, a win is a win. Coach, you said J.J. Ford would have a big day, and he did just that in leading the team to victory. What impressed you most about him? Um, his poise. J.J. Ford's always poised. He's too cool for school. Well said, coach. Just so much poise under pressure with guys in his face. His ability to turn nothing into something is why he's our leader and why he's our franchise quarterback. So next game, Ford will have plus five break sack and throw our next two games, actually. Wow. That's a big one. So, uh, yeah, Ford is our captain, our leader. He's the man. And uh, we continue on. This NFC East journey playing the 
New York Giants in Week 14, and then also the Packers, my favorite team, in Week 15. Doesn't look like Dudley got injured, so that's good. But going to have to figure out what's going on with my man and uh, get him back to his old form. But anyways, guys, that is going to do it for me tonight. As always, I appreciate you stopping by. I will catch you on the next one. Until then, peace.